even in these white knuckle days, early heady days of Donald Trump's presidency, we see some familiar features of the ways in which power is exercised and the ways in which our unilateral politics operate in our system of government. Donald Trump is not unique in his interest in using executive orders, proclamations, national security directives to affect widespread and meaningful policy change. All presidents, all modern presidents in particular, have incentives to exercise these powers because the lawmaking process is a mess. And in an era of heightened polarization between the two major parties and a period where there are multiple veto points in Congress and huge demands put upon the presidency, all presidents have incentives to work around the legislative process and exercise these unilateral powers. He's not new in doing this. What is new is how he's doing it and the ways in which he's not obviously vetting these orders before he's issuing them. When we hear about members of his own administration learning about these orders through the media, when he's not consulting with members of the broader bureaucracy that's going to have to implement it. It's not obvious that he's even consulted with the Office of Legal Counsel to find out about their legality. What happens and what we're observing is it sows widespread confusion and a fair bit of opposition. And that's new insofar as usually in the aftermath of an executive order being issued, there's if not silence, then at least a fair bit of acquiescence because presidents are accustomed to doing their homework, to finding out what the concerns are likely to be and adjusting accordingly. Trump is proceeding with a level of aggression and speed that is leading to lots of opposition, such that we've already observed the judiciary intervene and issue a stay on his immigration ban. This is new. But it's in this that we also see how the boundaries of these powers are set. It's a judiciary that has ample opportunities to amend or overturn. Uh, Congress that can step in and amend or overturn any action the president takes unilaterally, a bureaucracy that can provide some pushback, and a public that can express its views in ways that have m real meaning for those that are contemplating checking or amending things that presidents do. We'll have to see how this plays out. I'm struck by the level, not just of aggression on, on, on Trump's part, but the kind of opposition and confusion that we've observed in the aftermath. This is, is new territory.